Hello everyone, welcome to Talented Developer. In this tutorial, we are going to see how to find largest element of an array. So suppose we have some number. So we can say like number. And here we have some number like 10, 100, 20.8, 500 and 77. Okay. So by seeing we can say like, okay, 500 is the largest one, but how our code is going to know. So if you see how many elements is there currently, one, two, three, four, five. So that means we need to iterate each and every element. So we have to use for each loop or you can use for loop also. So for now I'm going to use for each loop. So suppose it is our for loop, right? Here we are going to iterate each element. So what we can do, so first of all, we can declare one variable like largest and it will always hold the largest value. So by default, it is going to hold the first element as the largest one. Correct. So you can say like num of zero. So in array, we have to start from the zero index. So that's why I have declared zero. That means 10 is the currently largest one. Here we are going to run the for each loop in that for each loop we are going to use one if condition in that if what we can do we can say like largest correct and suppose we are going to get whatever the element from the for each loop so suppose we can say like here num so first time what will be happen 10 will come right so 10 is smaller than 10 no now when the second element will come on that time is 10 is smaller than 100 correct so it will go in that if condition. So in that if condition, we can say like now largest one is equal to what? 100. Correct. So next time when 20.8 will come on that time, what will be happen? Is 100 is less than 20.8? No. Similarly, 500 will come. It will say like, okay, now 100 is less than 500. Correct. So now what will be happen 500 will become the largest one. So it will run until we are going to get all the element and after that you will get the largest one. So let's start our code. So here I'm going to use double and we can say here input and it will be array. So I'm going to enter some number. So if you see here, right? It is showing red color. So if you move your mouse, it is showing here what we have to convert as a array. So please remember whenever you are going to use array, you have to use this. So this symbol is generally for array. So now we have to use a variable that is going to hold the largest one. So whatever I just shown to you. So let's say like double largest. And what we are going to do, we have to just use input of zero index. So zero index means like currently it is going to take the hundred value. Now for each loop. So for each loop is going to behave like a for loop. So we can say like here double num and input. So here what will be happen when you are going to give this condition on that time. This input means like all this value. Now when the first time it will run on that time, what will be happen? This number will be hold 100. Okay. Next time minus six. So always this number is going to hold the iterated element from this input array. So now what we can do just run system not out print element. So you will get more knowledge like how and what this number is holding. Now run this program. You can see that right, first time 100 then minus 6 554 correct so you got it right how it is iterating like it is iterating each and every element from this input now what we can do just use here if condition and in that if we can say like largest is smaller than num correct so what it will do it will hold the largest value who is the largest one now when the for each loop is going to stop we are going to get our the largest value so we can say like 
which one is the largest value so the largest now run this one before that just comment this line we don't want to confuse you you can see now the largest one is 899 so we have to say like okay first time the largest one was 100 correct now which one was the largest one so what we can do here we have to just come here and use system dot println and say like current largest so this line will be print like which one is the current largest value okay now i'm going to put one more line here it will show like okay which one is now largest so run this program you can see current largest 100 correct on that time first time 100 was the largest one when it satisfy this condition on that time what was happen 500 became the largest one you can see right when the 54 came it does not satisfy this condition but when this 899 came on that time it satisfy the condition on that time the current largest one was 500 but here we say like okay largest equal to num so now the num value was what 899 you can see here 899 after that there was no value who is greater than 899 so that's why the last output you got the largest value as a 899 i hope you understand this one so thanks everyone